Well, something I love to do on this show and the people listening love when it happens as well is name dropping. So I'd like to ask no. you, can you think of some of the kids that you coached that were just extraordinary that maybe stick out in your mind when you think back? This episode is sponsored by PSF Legacy Jiu-Jitsu in Normal, Illinois. PSF Legacy Jiu-Jitsu helps people like you and me to develop extreme discipline, mental and physical toughness, and elite-level combative and defensive techniques. Learn submissions, learn takedowns, and learn what to do when a fight hits the ground, all while getting into the best shape of your life at PSF Legacy Jiu-Jitsu in Normal, Illinois. Absolutely anyone can enroll here. It's so welcoming, the education is great, and the owner and coach, Jared Game, is a great man who I've had on the show. Jiu-Jitsu is fun, intense, promotes good health, and builds confidence like you would not believe. It's about time you learn how to do it. Shoot them a message on Facebook at PSF Legacy Jiu-Jitsu or give them a call at 217-637-4699. PSF Legacy Jiu-Jitsu is located at 1314 Fort Jesse Road in Normal, Illinois. I personally love this place and I've trained here many, many times. PSF Legacy Jiu-Jitsu. Let them know that the Paul Garcia Show sent you. I coach a lot of brothers. Hmm. So the first year was Derek Stevens, coach's brother Dustin. Two great, great football players. Uh, Russell and Luke Taylor. Kind of told some stories about Luke. Russell scored six touchdowns on six rushes in one game against Luther South. Um, Jimmy and Charlie Hosselton, they were my first and third year. Uh, Charlie's a local guy, obviously, with varsity screen print. The Dillers, Alex and uh, A.J. Diller, they were able to play for their dad, Jed. And they were – A.J. was a center in 03, not a bad snap, not one. Uh, A.J. was a center in 06, in the gun, not a bad snap. So it was an honor to have them. Uh, Jed is a good friend of mine. He introduced me to uh, NASCAR. We went over to India a couple of times, but that's for a different show. Um, <laughs> the Ziggenhorns, Shane and DJ, Mike and Matt Kilgus. Matt played my first year in 99. Obviously, Michael was the same year as Luke. You say Matt Kilgus? Matt Kilgus played for the me. The co-owner of Kilgus yes. Farmstead? He played He one. said to say hi, by the way. I forgot yeah. to tell you. He played one corner, and Mike Winnegar, our former neighbors, played the other corner. So I... Coach Mike and, and Nick Winnegar, uh, Brenton Chase Mowry. I mean, what can you say? Uh, two great, uh, great men. Chase, oh, uh, he's a man. A quick story about Brent. Uh, he tore his ACL his sophomore year. He was our best running back in the program, like the best. Uh, tore his ACL. So he made this transition to offensive defense, offensive line, and, um, and linebacker. He was one of the best we've ever had. But – he was a, he was he couldn't play running back anymore cuz he had that knee injury so uh chase played running back wrestled you had him on your show mm-hmm. great men jimmy and brian hildensburg what can i say jimmy played uh at occidental uh he's doing great uh brian played uh, his junior year um i hope brian's doing well uh the peters all three justin Corey, and jeremy i coached all of them um da- john and dane fricky I was good friends with Mike um, and the whole group, that whole group from 06. I mentioned some of their names. Oh, yeah. Brad and Kyle Moody. I mean, back-to-back years, great, great football players, hardworking young men, Aaron and Caleb Rathman. And I got a great Caleb Rathman story for you. We're playing in 2002, 2002 playoff game at Williamsburg-Latham. We had to stop the fullback. And Michael and Caleb both played middle linebacker. And I, and I said, all right. We have to stop the fullback. So the fullback had about 10 rushes for about 50 yards in the first half. So I'm not real happy. So we're coming off the, coming off the sideline, and it's kind of one of those things, Paul, where, you know, I got my arm around him. Caleb is a sophomore. Yeah, I'm doing one of these right here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Caleb, I said uh, pregame, what do we got to do? He goes, we got to stop the fullback, coach. I'm like, um, I said, you need to fill the f and a gap, Caleb. He's like, yes, coach. It was an F-ing probably, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so he's like, yes, coach. I think he had 10 carries for minus four yards in the second half. Um, so those young men did wow. their job. Uh, Aaron Rathman uh, had a couple of knee injuries. Uh, I remember the last time he carried the ball his senior year. Came off, gave me a hug, 
and they're both great men, married, have children now. And then I'll, I'll, I'm going to go back to uh, Trent and Addison Bounds. I had both those guys, and, and they were two years apart. Trent plays running back, was one of the best running backs I've ever coached. Mm -hmm. uh, would run through that brick wall behind you, Paul. Uh, and Addison was a three-year star, three-year all-conference, three-year all-state. Played at Eastern Illinois, um, started a tight end there. Had some great memories with them. And Dylan Ward. Woo! Yeah, that's a big name. Player. Clutch. Yeah, he was really excited that Saturday we met with him. And he threw for like 4,600 yards and like 58 touchdowns. Kick a 50-yard field goal and punt the ball 50 yards in the air. Um, the best athlete to ever come through Prairie Central, all state football, basketball, and baseball. There's nobody up there on the board. Nobody. Um, tremendous kid, tremendous young man, has a family now, married, was invited to his wedding. Man, he was good. He was real good. And a good person. And a, and a good young man now with a family. Curtis Bunch, wow. You talk about I saw the hardest hit live ever in 2003. Um, uh, he, he, Nat Mord, swirled the kid. Um, I've talked to Coach Onsen after that. Um, I asked him how that boy was doing. He's now a grown-ass man. He's doing great. Actually, he's a doctor. So that concussion was okay. Um, but he was the best defensive lineman I've coached since Thomas Gwines, who played in the NFL. He was at Bishop Mack. I coached a lot of great, great young men that grew up to be men. And that's that's huge. That's huge in our business. And the coaching business, teaching business, they made me who I am. Those men. 